let you go. Stop your blessing. Take your blessing. Yes, she's coming. She's walking. It has been days. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. He will do yours for you. He's in our midst to share blessings. Come out and come and testify. Please don't go because your blessing is here. Don't leave your blessing here. There is a miracle with your name tagged on it. Get it before you go. Get it before you go. Wait and get your miracle before you go. Come out if you receive a miracle. Come out and testify. The Lord has done it. Something has happened. Many things have gone on. Don't keep it. Come out. Come out. Look around you. If something has happened, you scream, I've seen a clock, I've seen something down there. Yes, that's another fall, I think there. Yes, working assistance there. It has been raised up. The Lord has delivered. The Lord has healed. I say tonight is miracle galore. Look around you. God is moving in our midst to heal. God is moving in our midst to heal. Orchestra. We will take our first testimony from the Alpha location. I have with me uh, Matthew Impela from Pasa. Please give your testimony. Praise the Lord. Give your testimony. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Impela Matthew from Pasa Oti region. By the grace of God, I am here from Epa. Since I was a child, I was having a pal in my annals. One day I went to bath and I came and told my mother that I saw something which is like a living thing in my annals. My mother told me something which I don't know. So I felt sick one day, you know, when you fall sick, your grandmother, they will boil water and put it in your annals to check whatever sickness you are feeling. Well, it testifies. Okay. Another it, coach has been lifted up it there. It will be about 15 years now. And they, they told me that I inherited the, the power from my father. I've been suffering from it. I took different kind of medicines. They said, Dr. Abu Nikonika's own is the bed for healing power. I took it three bottles. The thing didn't go. And if I go to the toilet, I will be, blood will be oozing out, and the tea will come out. After the toilet, I will be pushing the thing inside. But yesterday, after our, our father and the Lord prayed, today I went to the toilet, I didn't see blood, I didn't see the pearl, the pearl is no more pushing out. I thank God for healing me in Jesus' name. Amen! Yeah. Amen. So from Amen. what our brother uh, described now, it's, uh, he had what is a third degree hemorrhoid. That's a severe form of pearl. And by the grace of God, he's fine. Thank you. Kenya be mano wenya koko enfie por 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 edunum Jesus Christo tumia tutu sa koko no enura di ebesi ne wenya fa hudi e wo Jesus Christo di mo 
Nyamia wa yen century ni o guso wa yen century ni wa hanum. We have here Paddy Samuel Na from South Otoko. Praise the Lord. People of God, I say praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Paddy Samuel Na from South Otoko. About three weeks ago, I went to play football. <laughs> you can imagine. Football prayer. <laughs> what will happen? Hmm. I pray football and my leg got treated. So they have treated me, but if you see my walking, it's not moving well. It, I can't run. I, I, though I can walk to work and all those things, but running, I can't run. So we came here on Thursday. After the prayer, I couldn't check it. But I don't, I, I don't recognize that, oh, I'm, I got my healing. So yesterday, we went home. I said, well, let me go and buy water. So as I'm walking, and then something tell me, oh, can't you run and see whether you are healed? So I said, okay, then let me run. Then I start running. And I was running. I was running. I was running. In fact, I was hopping. I was hopping. I'm so excited. So I thank God. For the healing. And the, the man of God, may the Lord bless you for the great thing you are doing. And may, may the Lord anoint you more and more in Jesus' name. You know, I watching me and saying, Oh, ball, a man in a movie, a face, Senia, Ninani, yeah, yeah, on to be friend to America. And we are about Hanya, and go for the Nisa Kanaina. What you America? Yeah, yeah, you know who you are. Already, any, any more yam, any sunny ma obia, we are Sudan mo. Yam kupon century, ni obia kaze century ni. Angwangwa juma, what you are ever. Yes, another clutch is lifted up there. Obia mani. God is still in the business of healing. Be expectant. Be expectant. Because God is still doing his miracles. Look around you. The Lord is near. Another clutch up there. Let's give God the glory. Let's magnify his name. For God is still doing his miracles. He will not live here the same. You will not live here the same. Check the dump. Check the deaf. Check the blind. Go to the cripple near to you. God has done it. Thank you. So I have, I have here with me Teresa in cancer from Mackenzie. Praise the Lord. I had an accident in 2005. From that, that time, I have waist pains. But just this evening, when man of God prayed, then he said we should check ourselves. When I checked, I, I'm no more feeling the pains. So I thank God. Something has happened there. Something has happened there. All over the grounds, God is moving. Hallelujah. Our sister is Teresa in cancer from Mankasif, Ghana. She had an accident and had waist pain. Miraculously, the Lord has delivered her instantaneously tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Your own is right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
fire, let's take something from the social media. Indeed, God is doing great things online. As the power of God is touching lives all across Africa, Asia, and the rest of the world. As we bring you this testimony from Facebook. Karim Afewo testified of how God delivered him from lower eyelid challenge. He has been suffering for the past uh, five years now. But after the prayer of the man of God, yesterday, he sent in this testimony that he slept and he woke up. That challenge is no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From the GS official Facebook, William Sandra is testifying of how God healed her from ulcer. She said after the prayer of the man of God, the ulcer disappeared. Praise the Lord. Mr. Peter Uchu from Cross River State, Nigeria, in Boki local government precisely, testified of suffering from sleeplessness in the last one week. But after the prayer of the man of God, all of the challenges of sleeplessness are all gone. Praise the Lord. Indeed, the power of God is evident as we take you to YouTube of Payami Ekundayo. He's saying, I want to bless the name of the Lord over my son. He has been constipated for weeks now. But he connected to the program because he heard the testimony from a woman who shared a testimony relating to that problem. But he said, after the prayer of the man of God, his son got his healing. Praise the Lord. On the Deeper Life Bible Church Facebook page, Owusu Antwi testified here in Kumasi, Ghana, that he has been having body itching challenge. But after the man, prayer of the man of God, the, the challenge disappeared and he is totally free now. Praise the Lord. Also from YouTube, Chineye is saying, praise the Lord. My seven years old daughter was healed of asthma and stomach pain. That comes along with it from one of GCK crusade last day. said, but after the prayer of the man of God, this has been going on for seven months. The asthma and the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We also go to the GS Facebook and we have Debbie Preshi testifying of being healed of clavicle fracture. She has been suffering in the last few months, but today she is totally free. Praise the Lord. We bring you this testimony from Lagos, though the audio not good, but as a summary of it, the, the woman you see on your screen is a testifier um, who is testifying of a miracle baby she had been ho she's holding currently. She said she had, she had had a um, series of miscarriage, but she keyed into the crusade, which started from divine touch, and there is a finalization of the miracle at the miracle explosion that took place in Lagos, Nigeria. She said, after the crusade, no miscarriage, the baby stayed, and yes, she is with the baby to give glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We now hand over to the moderating pastor. Praise the Lord. I see a wheelchair lifted up there. I say, God is with us. Stop, stop. Okay. My name is Dr. Holali Yaobujino. I'm a physician, a specialist, public health. With me here is Madam Elizabeth Amu Debra. Uh, she's a 70-year-old uh, lady. She has been uh, suffering from some conditions, and the daughter and herself will testify to what the Lord has done for her. Yes. Good morning. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God has been so good to me. Yes. He is a faithful God. And because of that, I came here. Amen. Yes. For a long time, I've been battling with so many conditions in my body. Diabetes, BP, chronic cough, pains in pains, excruciating pains, continuous, non-stop. And so I've been battling. But today, 
by today. Ah. Amen. God has visited me. Amen. He has visited me. Amen. He is a faithful God. Amen. I thank God. Yes. Now I'm able to walk. Oh, demonstrate, yeah. a little, demonstrate, a little, demonstrate a little bit. And I know the blindness in my by the time I live here, there's Sight has been totally restored. Amen. That is my belief. Yes. I trust the living God. Amen. 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 Okay. I want ye, me a ye, a sumbo, ye, mami, fie pi, or a citre ya dia, in fie dia senye, and would to you. O ya o kesiye na mani ebe bre o nyami o ya sentre ni nyami hallelujah o nyami o ya wangwadi hallelujah ena nyumre nyangu pod ni sa kaya mami wamana nyani fa hudi e fa hudi e mapa o si o ni mse nyami ya no kwa fuampa hallelujah. Please stop the movement and listen to the testimonies because as we share the testimonies, you receive your miracle. All the nation I praise them. Let us praise Jehovah. Let's listen to the next testifier. Abu Bakar Isaku is with me here. He's from Wager, Accra. Praise the Lord. My name is Abu Bakar from Wager, to precisely Mandera Church. I'm a member of Deeper Life. I came to join the Deeper Life last year, and I have an accident. I was riding the bicycle, and then the car met me on the way and knocked me, and they took me to Kolbu. So, when I have that accident, when I want to sleep, I have to use the pillow to choke my waist before I can sleep. So, three days ago, I received my healing. My left side, when I was going with my district people, they were very, they wasn't understand why I'm very happy like that. I was playing, praying and making noise with them. They don't understand. They never see me like that. But when I get to the house, I don't know the time I sleep because sometimes I don't even sleep tonight. But I don't know the time I sleep. I sleep with that, even use something to choke myself. And I'm here to say praise the Lord for what God has done to my life. Two years ago. Two years ago, yes. Thank you very much for your support. Bible says, say, yes, you man, you have found you, but you have found you, my pan. Hallelujah. What's your dear Abba? And then you're over there dancing. Yes. Felicia Opoku, yeah, from Guasso. Guasso. Hallelujah. May the Christmas say, May the fish of Puku Mr. Gosso. Near Atapora, dear Mamma, and me, but you want dancing. 
25 years in me, and I'm a touch lie. That 25 years in Namina, Yaria means that Bakoya asthma and a many pa. Maybe I call doctor, my doctor, crack at him, say many nayamre. It is a mention many young at an amusement to spread bet men toy. Anna, my son, and so we am do 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 as a dear near my be brave woman. There's a mini pretty anime for you. Now, Radia do. Anna, no. Mimin Dano, Mimin Dana, Mimin Dano, a bride bedrun, not so for bomb pion. Your radiatum so for bomb pion, ye pet. Menino, Masuno, there's a Masuna Yokusuno at Menina, Nina I ride. Why there are thousands of so, may ba, Mimin Dan, a Yawadano, Malaria Timmy, a broad bomb pion, Malayla Co, and no menumun in your left you all, a radi to me at Tanemi. I may not be found with the only idea of the Iama me. Eh, my. Wonders will never end. At GCK, our sister got converted 25 years ago, and the very moment she got converted, she had three serious sicknesses the ear, the eye, and asthma. Miraculously, yesterday, the power of GCK touched this, our sister. And as he stood here to give her testimony, she has been totally delivered. And she is free and free indeed in Jesus' name. Tonight, you'll be free. Amen. Please stop the movement and let's listen to the testimonies. So this is Jeremiah Hughes, who is from Nungwa. Yeah, please give your testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Jeremiah Hughes, a pastor from Teshinungwa Division. By the grace of God, I'm born again. I want to share this testimony to the glory of God. Um, Somewhere last year, October, I had a back pain and also a sharp one on my ankle. And in fact, it wasn't easy. Close to a week, I was seriously suffering of that pain. But after I attended the program, by the grace of God, after the last amen of our Father and the Lord, I received my healing. But the surprising thing was that I didn't know because after the program, I had to be doing this, packing this, doing this, and all that. So um, I got home, and the Spirit of God prompted me I should check up. So when I checked, I saw that the pains are gone. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then my second testimony goes this way. Um, this is from my mom. Um, she wants to share this. I want to share this on her behalf to give glory to God for what the Lord have done for us. Amen. Um, years ago, years ago, um, in Calabar, Eko, uh, in Calabar, that is um, Cross River State, Mommy, my, man, my mother attended Pastor do Dr. W.F. Kumi's program. And um, she had three daughters, that is female child, and she wanted a male child. And so, she turned in her prayer request, and um, the leadership accepted it, and they prayed for her. And to the glory of God, she got a male child, and uh, the request was that the male child would become a man of God. And uh, praise be to the Lord that I am the child, and by the grace of God, I am a man of God, an evangelist in the household of faith. God bless you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Yeni abai mano or enkra o ya sofo na na chiri bramui kasei na yani ye ye papa 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 papa. Nyangu pa wa wanyan sanchira ni nyangu pa. Nyami dini saka no ama bra nyangu pa ni pa bom pa ye wanyan ifa hudi e kra 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 kra. Ni atosu mi enune se. I was Calaba in Fibia Chamunani Mami Pe or Babema. Now, call a soft penny, she was see. Now, they call to a radian himself or Mania or Babema. Now, fair on your soft one so on his side, Yenia, one ma a dancing day. 
Nyami ya sanctuary nyami. Can we stop all the movement and listen to the testimonies? God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul, rise up and praise the Lord. The next testifier. While we wait for the next test, file, let's go to social media. Then please let's hold on and listen to the last next testifier. Indeed, the power of God is evident. I shall bring you this testimony from the GS official Facebook page. Mrs. Samuel is saying, Praise the Lord. I want to bless the Lord for healing me of severe headache and dizziness on Friday before the crusade. She also said she had a mouth sore that was so serious and the pain was excruciating. Many drugs were prescribed, but all to no avail. But she said when she came for the crusade, after the prayer of the man of God, all the pains disappeared. Praise the Lord. On YouTube, Abigail Ali Bena testified of being instantaneously healed of backache she had been suffering for the past three months. After the prayer of the man of God, all the pain vanished, disappeared, and now she is totally free. Praise the Lord. And now we we'll return to the moderating of us here. The next testifier. Hello. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Mimanona uh, Kikwashi, and and I'm from Takrade in the Western region. On 17th March 2016, I was stabbed at my back and it affected my spinal cord and left me paralyzed. So for six years now, I've not been able to move. But then I was in a wheelchair, but by the special grace of God, I moved to the crutches. And here are my crutches. I can never mobilize without my crutches. But then when daddy prayed, and he said the final amen. Actually, I was, I was in a bit of a doubt because yesterday I came, it really didn't go on as I expected. So one man came and then he told me to walk. Walk, and by the special grace of God, I was sitting at the back, 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 back there. And I walked all by myself here. So I'm here to give glory to God in Jesus' name. And, and I know that God has started and then he's going to perfect it. And very soon, I'm going to return to play football in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. All right, praise the Lord. So I'm Dr. Gloria Wiswam Bruce from UCC, where in my schools. Somewhere last year, I heard of a story and visited him myself. There was an occasion I picked him to church, and he even had to take brothers to help him move even into the temple so myself i didn't come with him but sitting in the congregation and when i saw him passing i was like is it Ima? is it not Ima? so when i confirmed it was i said this one myself i'll follow him i was so much excited to see him walk without the crutches so indeed it's the doing of the lord and our god needs to be praised hallelujah god is in the business of healing his people Nyamia o tumi adie ya nyina ye nyamia wo ye kese ye nyamia wo ye kokroko wodi nsa ka ye nua ba ba me ya ya wo tumi ananti every baby ya no o ti abedru ha no mo hallelujah ye nua ba na dance o di ya se onu e na onim no no hunu se o nanti ya no na ye no nwa hallelujah wo ye lecture wo university of cape coast e na o confirm no 
wanaandika grama yake haleluya haleluya bonse 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 mja radia ni bonya bonse 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 radia ni bonya So constant Atta is here from half a cinema. Please speak. Praise the Lord. If I share from a constant, me free half a cinema. Now, Michelle, you may be bringing a radia on my brabble, but and you made ye near radia yama menu, a pro margin, the mentias here. So, since I'm about my second bomb, and ye ye me see yes now, say ye me see yes in eight months time, and I mean who said me wah, nam and suno, a fraba macuma home, one month I'm a suno, no fraba. And I'm maybe someone say, hey, then I'll cross you. And see, me call hospital, and I'm a call check doctor, and he says, since all you see us now, me will handle my own seven soon, and I'll frab us through. And a doctor, and he say, ah, and I'll say, but be a one soon, you go no. I'll free her, I'll be before 20, and my bone, I'll say, I'll be that one. This year, I'll call you, and I'll be the two, but be a dano. Now, yes, I'll call you, and I'll say, but be a one, and I'll be the net, be the same mosquito net, keep to a bin at the question. Now, since I'm with the shell, or no. Minipa, your mom, when you have a sneer, I'm in your mobile domain name. Me, you're from a home, Tom, me da. And now say, a china say, me prampa, me, we are the same business, and I'm that to me, your phone so. They say, me, your phone, my minion, and you, Jamie, or sometimes it's me, because I catch a moose ready. A brand of doors, the son of Bayer, dear Jimmy, confirm me, and I'm in quite my home. If you send me some number, don't come home, they are meant to me, and call heaven, but one can't say, oh, come here, meet me, I call heaven, say, rather, Jimmy, confirm me, sir. But empire me, boy, and you now. Never had been himself, or see, see, there be at the same Nadia Mammy, now when I'm so dear Jimmy. In time, I'm a bar hanging now, fear no penny now. Now, my home family, you're from the Moyami ya. The best out to all kind of Yasma Bompa, you may say, rather, Ned dear. Send your funny tear be a Jimmy Sanchani, because as I didn't know me, you're from Mo, into a bomb penam, say, rather, Ned dear, my Jimmy Sanchani, and Panso, but that bomb pie we ye. Ya or no, I didn't know any name, you're from Munin, you're coming to me from his son coming up to send me to me, me and me, me, you're from no. To say, I'm young to me, Radias, and I went out the Cassera, there, your mammy, amen. Amen. Indeed, we are serving a God of miracles. Our sister went to deliver and she was operated upon. After the operation, there was much pain in the stomach. She went back to the doctor to complain about the problem. A second operation was done, but yet still, she has been experiencing excruciating pain, uncomfortable pain to the point that our sister wished to die. But by the grace of God, she did not die. And tonight, the God of all miracles has visited her, and the pain has vanished completely, and he's now free. Put your hands together for the Lord. I have with me here uh, Dokas Pukwa from Tekpa, Ghana. Praise the Lord. I am here to see you. I am here to bring my journey and tears to you. Now, what's the question? Did you know me? Me free to pan a bay. Now, if you be do a yawada, if you are done a yawada, me bow sorry. If you are done, me bow sorry. If you are done, my team, me who dey aye at once na na me yare. Me bu 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 me team me sorry. Aye me sa na me ya kakra kakra na me de bay. Me buy and so, and I do now, dear Betches Sunday, and now, dear Mimenda, dear Betches Sunday, and so the same thing. My book work, who I mean to me, crown sorry. Madame Fubibano was so me, moon met me up a jammer home. And see, and I buy a no, and I'm funny, and me and Cracran, I'm a buyer, me buy a no, me to me, Emma Metsana, 
Meda ti e finisai di wasa tama program ne kwaso mo bom pa yinyana na meda wo menti mi mpega me ho enti wonam ka kire urade se me ba na manfa yare ama enti me mpesta me kwaso ama de yare be ko enti ene anwumre die anadwe ya manadwe wo se o sam yare ansa na mefri akọ na ampa me nya gidie abra ye sofo fanyi ne bom pa ye wi na me de me gidie ka ne de ehuno afi o ka se ye nche ka ehuno se anho de fofro bi etimi abame mu me ana ma ye hojo ana me timi nkasa me timi na ntimi timi nya hwe no ene me timi e pega me nsa totu me nsa na me de aseda ba nya me e man our sister came here strong but by friday she was paralyzed and it has to be assisted by people today she was just lying somewhere but she managed to come here trusting the lord that god will intervene in her case as the man of god prayed tonight this sister has been delivered and she is freed and that's how he is walking praising the name of the lord hallelujah amen your own is on the way coming So I have with me here uh, Akosia Davi from Kumasi, Ghana. Oh, well, you know, here, President Nemilo. President Nemilo. Me, what did you ever make one of a fiala for Doyle? I say, my little Doka, thirty years there, fifty years there, my job, my job, boo boo. A bad groom, my mom, my mom, my Let me feel it. Come back, come back, come back. I don't know. You talk. 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 You Our sister, sister Akos Davi, resident at Kumasi, 75 years of age. She has been sick for the past 30 years. By the grace of God tonight, she experienced a tremendous touch and a power from the Lord. Praise the Lord. Who invite Chumwa Doris from Achimota. Praise the Lord. If I say right there, I can see a man and pass them, Michelle, and cash any dear new yam, a cross all over Achimota. They are there, I am, and they say, Me to make me join some tenta, me to make your terrible and as a man come and hook around, me to make you so good, my best seven years in it. Now, so past that, come on, you program now, you are handed over TV sooner. Amen. We have a great God who never fails. Our sister has suffered from diabetes for the past seven years and wonderfully, miraculously, through GCK, our sister has been healed totally and completely. Go with your freedom. So I have with me here uh, Jessica from Ashraman, Lebanon. Praise the Lord. Bread and praise the living Jesus. If I stand here this evening, I don't know how to thank the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Jessica Nalobi. I'm from Ashraman, Lebanon. The Lord has been good to me. Almost six years now, I had a spine injury which the doctor said I must undergo a plastic surgery, but due to lack of money, we couldn't go. And I've been trusting the Lord for my own miracle. In fact, I can't bend, I can't carry heavy things, I don't sit for long, even my lying. If you stay with me in my room, you will see the skills with which I lie down. But the Lord has done it for me. In fact, my challenges are a lot. 
Last year, before the year ended, I started feeling unease. I went to hospital. The doctor detected that due to um, in majority intake of antibiotics and other painkillers, it has affected the right side of my kidney and the liver. In fact, it was a whole lot of headache. It's not just that. The doctor also said there are a lot of problems with the fallopian tube, other kind of things. But I thank the Lord this evening when pastor was about to pray. This is the kidney and liver functioning test the doctor asked me to go and take. And I told God that I've been in this church for long. I've been serving you. People can't come from outside and you just do their healing for them. You just give them their healing. I'm not going back to Ashima without my own healing. So I've been trusting the living Jesus. In fact, when Jesus just finished praying, I can't bend and remove this thing from the bag. But by the grace of God, after the prayer of the man of God, I bent, removed this thing from the bag. My leg has been swollen due to the kidney problem. I could bend the leg. In fact, I am healed. God has done it for me. I just want to return the glory to him for healing me. Even Friday, what happened to me? I was telling one of my sisters, this is what happens a lot of people die. All of a sudden, I wasn't feeling fine. I felt weak, weak, like I can't explain. But today I am standing here. The Lord has done it for me. Praise the Lord. Good evening, brethren. Truly, Jessica has been experiencing several problems medically. Um, she's been diagnosed with, as she rightly said, I've known her for the past five years. And she'll be diagnosed with um, kidney infection, liver, and um, subsequently swollen feet and all that. She's been experiencing sleepless nights, difficulty in bending and all that. This evening, I was sitting down among the crowd somewhere. She ran to me, the mommy, um, I've received my healing, and they needed here to actually affirm that I had this problem. So this evening, I am so happy, I'm overjoyed to actually see her receive her healing. We bless the name of the Lord for what is done. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ewo ni brebo ama ni nine asia peje peja ya o kwa manie mu kesiye doctor a o sheno o trotro ni ama tre ni yari ano ni krata ni dekuta no no ne na anaji Jesus Christo abesra sa ni odi adansi wanyani fa udi ni kupwa sani yadi akwa Hallelujah Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Yes, my name is Kwabna Sare from Ajamesu in Kumasi. Somewhere last year, the Lord put it before me that I should build his temple. So I heard to the voice and built the church. After completion, all my business collapsed. I've been moving here and there, eastern region, western region, but it was to no avail. So when I heard that the GS was coming here, I said to, me, to myself that no matter be the case, even if it meant borrowing, I would do so and then step my foot at Independence Square. And I believe that once I step my foot here, there is going to be a breakthrough. And this afternoon, I was having a chat with one of my uh, administrators in our church. And lo and behold, a call came from one of my associates. In short, there has been a breakthrough more than what it used to be. So I'm here to give the utmost glory to God. Amen.
So this is Agnes Lamle Lamte. Please give your please. Um, I told me Agnes Lamle Lamte. Um, inja choko ni eni inja potenji aji intetewe ye choko jen ye eni inje ni biantone hela ni kamu babi ya biantone. Hela yemi afeto mu nyongo be ma minne inye ni inte shi infe no kondo kondo ko mi he nyong ha jini ama me fe ono fe no ame ha mi ni inye kwa ko ha ni nan le akechi aba fe ku said ko ya bi ene mbo mbo modin ko ni mba ku said e mene gbene kan do mo shi ya bi ene ene Minya minya wa dente. Agbene injioni un ojobang. Mi dente injioni. Nan le ake injioni ojobang. Inye mwa un eye fain. Konisa. Nyo ke nyanu hiye biye ne. Mwene gbene kristo ji mwoni e chami. Ne wono e domoshi. Ni mwene inye. Keba domoshi ye eni indomone. Nye iradon. Madam Agnes Lamte had multiple problems. She was down, weak, helpless, paralyzed, could not be doing anything for herself. Her, chil her children were those attending to her. But as she came here on invitation, by the grace of God, she has become healed. And we see her walking by herself, standing upright now, which before that was not her condition. We thank the Lord for what the Lord has done for her. God bless you. has been good to us. The Lord has blessed us and I believe it will continue throughout the night to give us chance to testify tomorrow. We will end up here by standing on, being upstanding and we pray. Let's stand up and go before God. Father, you are most grateful for all that you've done for us. We bless you for anointing you gave your, your servant to come and share the word with us with these signs following. We appreciate all that you've done for us. And we surely believe it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pass the night, Lord. Keep on blessing us. Wake us up healthy and strong. Put more testimonies in our mouth. Strengthen your servant. Give an overflow of anointing. That the next two days ahead of us, Monday and Tuesday, everybody will be filled. This we know you will do, God. Because we've asked in the name of Jesus Christ. Take us safely home, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you.
Thank you for this very hour of prayer. Asking the Lord, you pour upon your people the spirit of prayer and supplication so that we'll be able to lift our prayers to you in heaven in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for hearing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Let's turn our Bible to Psalm 136. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of God for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords for his mercy endureth forever. From the passage, we see the faithfulness and the goodness of our God. And without much ado, we want to stand up and go before our God Almighty in prayer. All those who are loitering, please come and have your seat. Stand so that we can all pray. Bow your head and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord Almighty for this second session of the day. Want to thank God for the global Sunday service this morning. Open your mouth and pray. This is not a time for silent prayer. Open your mouth wide and lift up prayers unto God. Our God is good. I will need to render thanks to him. Thank him for this morning. As we came to the service, God ministered to us. We heard the word of God. And we're blessed. Thank the Lord. Let's thank God again for GCK Ghana edition. God has been good to us. Let's thank God. For the past three days, there have not been rain. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Thank God for these three days, what we have heard with our ears and what we are seeing with our eyes as we come to the crusade. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for the impact of yesterday. The youth came in their numbers from far and near. The Lord carried them on his eagle's wings and brought them. We did not hear of any evil while they were coming and after the program, when they were going back, we did not hear any evil. This testifies of the goodness of God. Express your thanks to God. Make sure you are praying. And as prayer is going on, if you have testimony, please leave where you are and come to the front on my left-hand side 
meet the overseers, you'll be interviewed, and you have the chance to give your testimony. Continue to pray and thank God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good. For his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks unto the gods of God for his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords for his mercy endure forever. God is good. Thank the Lord. Since you came here, you have seen the goodness of God in your life. Your faith has been stirred off as you heard the word of God. The Lord has touched you one way or the other. You cannot be silent on this. You need to open your mouth and thank God. Shall we continue to thank God for his holy servant? For the past three days, God has been using him to minister the living word to us every evening at the crusade. With your ears, you have heard the word of God. And with your eyes, you have seen the power of God, the finger of God at work. Souls have been saved. The sick have been healed. The oppressed have been delivered. There have been supernatural intervention in the life of many people. We need to say, God, we thank you for your power at work. All regional overseers, please leave your seat, come to the front where we interview those who have testimonies. Since the program began, God has done something spectacular in your life. Live where you are. Come and give your testimony. Come to the front on my left-hand side, and the overseers will interview you. And And also in the past GC case, God has done something spectacular in your life. Please, don't keep silent. Come to the front, and you'll be interviewed. you have the chance to give your testimony. Let's remain in the mood of prayer, expressing our thanksgiving to God for the great works among us. All that God has done since we began the program, shall we thank the Lord and shall we pray and tell the Lord to make it permanent in the lives of the recipients. Thank the Lord for sparing us the rain for the past three days. <coughs> Before the crusade, we all know, especially those of us in Accra, the downpours, the rains, and many were contemplating and praying God intervene so that we will have a smooth crusade. And to the glory of God, for the past three days, God has been good. And there uh, has not been rain. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. 
And even today, look at the weather, open your mouth and thank the Lord. Our God is good. His mercy endure forever. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Job 29, verse 23. And they waited for me as for the rain, and they opened their mouth wide as for the latter rain. The Lord has promised to give us the rain, showers of blessings. I will have a promise from the Lord that the latter rain shall be greater than the former. This GCK is for six days. Three days is gone, it's left with three days. So if we divide the six days into two, we say that the first half is gone. We are left with the next half. That's today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. We are going to lift up our voice and thank the Lord for the past three days. And also pray that beginning today to the rest of of the days that God will visit us in his mighty power. Lift up your voice and pray. Beginning from today, that there will be a mighty, glorious visitation. mighty glorious visitation of the Lord in this place. And that the visitation today will be ten times of the past three days. Open your mouth and pray. There's power in prayer. Praise the key. When we pray, God hears our prayer. And God will grant answers to our prayer. It is what you open your mouth to tell the Lord that the Lord hears an answer. Pray and tell the Lord that beginning tonight, there will be a mighty visitation. That the Lord will manifest his might and power in this place. Open your mouth and pray. All who have been invited, but have not shown up, shall we pray and tell the Lord that the Spirit of the Lord will compel them to be here. To come and be partakers of the grace and the mercy of God. Open your mouth and pray. And while we are praying, if you have testimony, please come to the front and you'll be interviewed and you'll be given the chance to testify of what the Lord has done for you. Our oh, one, the way coming, shall we pray that the Lord will hasten their steps and bring them here. Open your mouth and pray that no one will come and live here the same way he or she came. That all who come will be touched of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Last week we had one million march and especially around this area 
We went to many homes, invited many people, gave our humbles to many people. Shall we pray that the Spirit of God, anyone who made a promise to come but is not yet here, Spirit of God will remind them, Spirit of God will constrain them and bring them here so that they will come and experience the visitation of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Announcement have been going on in the radios. And documentaries on the television stations. All who hear the radio announcement of GCK and all who have seen the GCK documentary on TV, shall we pray that the Lord will stir up their spirit, will stir up their heart to come to the Alpha location, which is the Independence Square, and also in the other regions that they will report at the venue where the crusade is being I mean, held. Open your mouth and pray. Our God is good. Our God delights in saving the souls of men. His long suffering to us was not willing that any should perish, but that all should come unto repentance. The GCK geared towards saving souls and bringing those in darkness into the light of God. To bring the power of God to the doorsteps of the people. Pray. That God will work in their hearts of all the audience, both online and those in the Alpha location. That as the word of God is dished out, the audience will receive the message as the word of God and not as the word of man. That the Spirit of God will use the Word of God to work in the hearts of men, to work in the hearts of all who hear the Word of God, even in this place and also online. Lives will be turned around. Negative situations in the lives of people will be turned around. Great things will happen in the lives of people. Open your mouth and pray. Our God is good. And his mercy endure forever. He heareth the prayer of his children. Open your mouth and pray. That tonight will not be an exception. That the power of God will be manifested. The power of God will come down tonight. Open your mouth and pray. That the power of God will fill this place of allocation. The power of God will not only fill here, but will also saturate this place. Right from the entrance, as people step here, the power of God, they will feel the power of God, they will feel the presence of God in this place. That those who are coming for the first time today will have an encounter with God. And those who have been here even before today, that God will reveal himself to them. 
Anyone who is not yet saved, the Spirit of God will convict them and bring them out of sin to the salvation experience of the Lord. Any basilada here not yet restored will be restored tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Our God is good. His mercy endure forever. He's not willing that any perish, but all come unto repentance. Pray that tonight there will be salvation galore. Avalanche of miracles, healings, and deliverances. Shall we pray that every work of the devil in this place will be destroyed? The Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Sin is the work of the devil. Sickness is the work of the devil. Oppression, torment, and affliction is the work of the devil. Open your mouth and pray that the windows of heaven will be open and the power of God will come down to catapult, destroy, and scatter every work of the devil and demons in this place and in the lives of people here and also those online. That the Lord will not pass you by tonight. You will have your fair share of the blessings of the Lord. In Acts 10, 38, the Bible says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy Ghost, and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. God is with our Father in the Lord. God is going to use him as a channel to bring his blessings to us. And we cannot leave him out in prayer. Open your mouth and pray for the servant of God. That the Lord will anoint him. That the Lord will anoint Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. As he has been doing always, that tonight's anointing will be more than the past days. That tonight will be different. That the Lord will renew his strength. That every word that comes out of his mouth will not fall to the ground. The Lord will anoint his word through the mouth of his servant. The Lord will back up his word through the mouth of his servant with his power. And the Lord will confirm the word with signs and wonders following. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord will make his servant a flame of fire. A burning and a shining light. He will be a great channel of blessing. To all of us in this Alpha location, to those online, and all over the globe, over 150 countries, where people are gathered to listen to the word of God. Pray that the Lord will open unto his servant a great door of utterance. He will speak the word with power. And as it was in the days of Philip, 
So will it be tonight that even in the delivery of the word of God, even before prayer time, the power of God will be moving in the people, will be moving in this place. At the back, in the front, left, right, center, mid, everywhere, the power of God will be moving. Sinners will cry, men and brethren, what shall I do to be saved? The work of sickness, which is the work of the devil in people's life, will melt away, will dissolve, will be destroyed. Bring yourself before the Lord. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Once again, if you have testimony, please, wherever you are, you are hearing the sound of my voice, please come to the front. Bring yourself before the Lord. What do you want the Lord to accomplish in your life? Pray that the Lord will reach out to you. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It is the word that you are going to hear tonight. And nothing else. And as that word comes to you, that your faith will be stirred up. That your faith will be revived. That your faith will be strengthened. To tap your miracle. To tap your blessings. Thank the Lord. For hearing and answering your prayer. In Jesus name we pray. Father I want to thank you this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for today. Also thank you for the past days. Thank you, Lord, for reaching out to sinners and bringing salvation to them. Thank you for reaching out to the sick and bringing healing to them in the past days. And we pray that tonight, Lord, will be exceptional. Open the windows of heaven and let there be a mighty downpour of your power on your people here at the Alpha location and those online and all other places in Jesus' name. That your word will come with power to knock off sin, to knock off sickness, oppression, and every activity of the devil in the lives of the audience, the people who are hearing the word in Jesus' name. Father, stand by your servants. You seem, Lord, mightily tonight. As he opens his mouth, we pray that, Father, your word will not fall to the ground. The word will be soaked and saturated with your power. It will be backed and confirmed with signs and wonders following in Jesus' name. And we pray that tonight, Lord, you increase the testimonies of your people. Thank you, Lord, for hearing. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shall we sit down? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. If you are happy to be here, I want to hear a louder amen. Amen. It's time to worship God, so please humbly we can be on our feet as we enter into the throne room of worship. 
we are giving praise and honor and adoration to God for what he has done in our lives. God has done great things for you and I. He deserves to be praised. He deserves to be honored. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Join me sing. Blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Tonight 